Alrighty, take four. Yeah, this YouTube thing is hard. Jeez, how did I ever deal with it before? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I did this video on... So first of all, I did a driving to work video last week. You know, 20 some minutes long. Uh, the computer says, nope, not going to do anything with it. Three days of trying to render that thing and it got to 47% and then the program crashed. So I deleted that, gone. Uh, and then this is my third take on the phone. The first one tonight, I hit the button not realizing it was on camera mode. You know, picture mode, not video mode. And I did the whole video talking to a still photo of myself. Duh. And then uh, the second one, I uh, I did it. I just put it in the computer, but it's, you know, on the long way orientation. You know, this orientation. Not how you want it. So I said, well, I'm going to delete that. And let's do one more take. One last go. So... I work for a large aviation manufacturing corporation north of Seattle, Washington. I am a member of a union. Have been since 2007. Uh, our contract expires now tonight. It is September 12th. It is 1.42 in the morning. Uh, at 11.59 p.m. tonight, my contract is done. Uh, company dropped an offer um, Sunday. So what's that? Three, four days ago now? Um, wasn't terrible. Wasn't great. But um, came into work on Monday and people were mad. So... I was actually anticipating having to essentially accept that contract. The union recommended it, but yeah, people are not happy with it. So the rallies at work have been incredible. Today was loud, and I pretty much every hourly employee was out there marching flags and horns and you name it. Um, noisemakers and drums and, and instruments and yelling and whistles and yeah, uh, people showing their displeasure. So uh, 2008 was our last contract. We rejected that one by 80%, that offer. I think we're going to beat it this time around. Uh, we also voted to strike by 87% last time. I think we're going to beat that again too. So it's going to be going to be a good one. Uh, polls open at 5 a.m. It's almost 2 a.m. I ain't getting any sleep tonight. So I'm probably going to get my butt dressed back up and here in a couple hours and go ahead and drive back into town. Be there at the opening. Cast my vote. Come back home. Should be home by 6, 6.30 at the latest. Shouldn't be any traffic coming back this way. Going down might be a little bit. Although most of the day shift folks should be at work by that time. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, get back here 6, 6.30. Crash for a few hours till, say, 10-ish. 10 10.30. Get up. They are letting us vote on company time, but, yeah, I'll just sit around the factory. and It's going to be a slow day. It's going to be a long day. Just waiting to hear the results. Polls close at 6 p.m. We should hear... I'm guessing 8, 9 o'clock. Of course, if it's anything like 2008, you'll be sitting there in the factory and all of a sudden you're just going to hear horns and screams and hollers and whoops and that's when we'll know if we're going out or not. A uh, lot of frustration over this one. Uh, you know, we have, we, we kind of got shafted back in 2014. Uh, we were starting to prepare to get ready for a contract and then our international came out and says hey we negotiated on your behalf surprise they didn't tell us and they says oh and uh we got you a 10-year extension which is what the company wanted we did not the members so that ends tonight the 10-year extension is expiring 
that also led to what's called the Membership Bill of Rights, where we, we the members, get to vote on anything that is put in front of the union. We don't uh, get to accept um, people on our behalf making decisions. So that was actually our current president that drove for that, our current uh, 751 president. So, but yeah, a lot of frustration. People are thinking the offer could be better. So back to the drawing board. Uh, I'm probably going to be on strike when I get home tonight, which means I will not work tomorrow. And, you know, who knows how long before we hear the next offer. They should be putting, if we do go out, uh, we should probably be seeing some sort of survey. What uh, what are the, some of the things you want us to work on? They've actually been, I didn't, forgot to mention, they've been negotiating on this since April. So... I think a lot of the frustration is uh, all the emails, updates we got from the union was uh, them saying, hey, we're miles apart, we're miles apart, we're miles apart. Saturday nights, hey, we're miles apart, long way to go, but we're still at the bargaining tables 24-7. We're talking, we're chatting, people are, you know, at least communicating. And then Sunday afternoon, hey, we got an offer and we recommend you take it. It's like, well, I thought we were miles apart. What changed? Why so quick? So... Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Just the feeling, like I said, the people in the factory, what, what I'm hearing, we're going out. So, last one was 59 days, 58 days, so two months. We'll see. I'm good financially. I've been saving since 2008 for this. So, my mortgage, I, I'll be able to cover just with the strike pay that we'll be getting. I got one more paycheck if we do go out. Tonight, uh, I get a paycheck in a week, so I do overpay on the house. So if we do go out, I'm, uh, when I get home tonight or early tomorrow, I'm going to knock the overpayment off. Uh, so that'll save me quite a bit of money right there. I'll just pay the, the minimum on the house while I'm out. But again, like I said, my that, that'll be covered by the, uh, by the strike pay. So, what is my mortgage? My mortgage is under a thousand bucks on this place. So, everything else I've got plenty sitting in the bank right now to to cover. So, we can ride it out for a while. I worry about the people that haven't been with the company for so long or who haven't saved like I did. So, we'll see. So, I'll probably drag you with uh, in the morning when I go down to cast my vote. Uh, maybe do a quick video from the car or something. I'm not going to take you inside. Um, I did take some video of inside the factory and just the noise. I didn't focus on the people marching. Uh, we're not supposed to take video, but I probably won't post that. Oh, I don't know. I might be able to take a sound clip out of it and put it on a video. And we'll do that. Um, just so you can kind of hear what, what goes on during a big, big march. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'm not sleeping the night. I ain't sleeping tonight. Cats are all out cold. So, we'll, uh, we'll catch you here in a little bit. Maybe in a couple hours. We'll do, a, do another update. I'm going to see about getting this thing uploaded. Figure it out. And, uh, yeah. Talk to y'all in a bit. Y'all be good. Bye-bye.